negative 1. It's the same as our axis of symmetry. How do we find the second number? We plug it in. So we have y is equal to negative 6 times negative 1 squared minus 12 times negative 1 minus 1. So what is negative 1 squared? Positive 1. So positive 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. Negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12 minus 1. So we have negative 6 plus 12 minus 1. Five. 5. So our second point in our vertex is going to be 5. So let's graph our point. We go to the left 1 and up 5. And our axis of symmetry is going to go right through it. How do we find other points on our graph? Yeah. Yeah. Plug in numbers. So what can we plug in for x? Zero. So we have y is equal to negative 6 times 0 squared minus 12 times 0 minus 1. So we have 0 minus 0 minus 1, which is 0 minus 0 minus 1, negative 1. So when we plug in 0, we get negative 1. So our first point is going to be 0 comma negative 1. So we're going to stay on 0 and go down 1. Without plugging in any other numbers, do we have another point on our graph? Yes. Where? On the other side of the axis. On the other side of the axis of symmetry. So since we're one point away from the right, we need to be one point away on the left. So now we can graph it. On the quiz, you need three points on your graph, okay? So technically, you only have to plug in one number like we just did now. Because we have our vertex, we have the number we plugged in, and then the number on the other side of the axis of symmetry. So that's all we need for our graph. Do we have a max or min here? Uh, a, max, max. a max. So we can cross out min, and what's our max? Five. Five. Remember, our max is going to be our y value here. What's our domain? All real numbers. All real numbers. Yep. What's our range? Negative infinity to 5. So remember, we start at the bottom. Since this graph is going down, it goes to negative infinity, and then our graph ends at 5. So our range ends at 5. It'll either be a negative infinity, it'll either start with a negative infinity if the graph goes down, or it'll end with an infinity if the graph goes up, but it won't have two infinity signs for our range. No, I mean, like, is there always going to be an infinity in the range or no? Yes, there will always be an infinity in the range. It'll be negative or positive. How do you know when the 5 goes first and then the infinity goes first? So if it's pointing down, then our graph goes to negative infinity, and our range has to start with the smallest number. So technically, negative infinity is our smallest number, and then our graph ends at 5. So 5 is bigger than negative infinity. So if like, the little u is at the bottom, and the graph is going up, the 5 would go in front, and then infinity would go behind? Right. If the graph was going up, we would start at 5 and then end at infinity. Good question. Any other questions on this one? All right, let's go to number two. Is this in standard form or vertex form? Standard. standard. So we need an A, B, and C. What's our A equal to? Three. What's our B equal to? Negative 12. Negative 12. And what's our C? Ten. 10. How do we find our axis of symmetry? Negative B, negative B, over, two. Negative B over 2A. So we have a negative, negative 12 over... 2 times 6. 2 times 3. So we have 12 over 6, which gives us 2. two. So our axis of symmetry is x is equal to 2. 
So what's our first number in our vertex? Two. Two. How do we find our second number? Plug it in. So we have y is equal to 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 10. What is 2 squared? 4. And what's 4 times 3? 12. So we have 12 minus, what's negative 12 times 2? Negative 24. And then plus 10. So what is 12 minus 24 plus 10? Negative 2. So our second point in our vertex is going to be negative 2. So our vertex is 2 comma negative 2. So we're going to go to the right 2 on our graph and down 2. And our axis of symmetry is going to go right through it. Now for our graph, how do we find more points? Plug in numbers. What can we plug in? One. So we have y is equal to three times one squared minus 12 times one plus 10. So y is equal to, what is one squared? One and one times three? Three. Minus, what's 12 times 1? 12. And plus 10. So 3 minus 12 plus 10 is? Positive one. So if we start with the first two values, what's three minus twelve? Negative nine. And then negative nine plus ten is one. So when we plug in one for x, we get one for y. So our next point is gonna be one comma one. Right there. Kira, where's our next point gonna be? On the other side of our of what? Yes. On the other side of the axis of symmetry. So since we're one point away on the left, we need to be one point one space away on the right. And then we can draw our graph. Do we have a max value here or a min? Min. So let's cross out maximum. On the homework, a lot of people put numbers for the max and min. If you do that on the quiz tomorrow, it'll be wrong. Okay? You either have a max or a min. You can only put a value for one of them. Okay? The important part here is that you know which one each graph has. So this one has a minimum. And what's our minimum value? Negative two. Negative two. What's our domain? All real. All real numbers. And what's our range? Negative two to what? Infinity. Infinity. Since our graph is pointing up, it goes to infinity. Any questions on this one? All right, let's go to number three. So number three, we can either do in vertex form or standard form. Which one did you guys do it in? Which one do you want to do this one in? Vertex form? Okay, so remember, vertex form, our vertex is going to be h comma k. Do we have anything that we're adding inside the parentheses? Zero. zero. So our h is zero. And do we have anything we're adding outside the parentheses? No. So what's our k? Zero. What's our axis of symmetry? x equals zero. So our first point is going to be? Right there, zero, zero. And our axis of symmetry is going to go right through it. How can we find more points on our graph? Plug in more numbers. What can we plug in? Let's plug in two. 
Again, we, it doesn't matter what we plug in. We could plug in one if we wanted to. But Chanel said two, so we're going to plug in two. So we have y is equal to one-half times two squared. So what is two squared? Four. four. So we have one-half times four. What's one-half times four? Two. Two. So when we plug in two, we're going to get two. So we're going to go to the right two and up two. And then we're going to go, where's our next point going to be? On the other side. So since we're two spaces away from the axis of symmetry on the right, we need to be two spaces away on the left. So our next point is going to be right there. And our graph is going to look like this. <coughs> Do we have a max or a min here? A minimum. And what's our minimum? Zero. Zero. What's our domain? All, numbers. All real numbers. And what's our range? Zero to infinity. Yes. Oh, wait until Amanda comes back. Any questions on this one? Our quiz is going to look just like this. What's so funny, guys? Yeah, what's so funny? Huh? Could you like 20 more? Yes. So let's see what happens when we plug in 1. Oops. So we have y is equal to 1 half times 1 squared. So what is 1 squared? 1. So 1 half times 1 is? One half. So when we plug in one, we get one half. So our point is going to be one comma one half. And we're going to go to the right one and up one half. And then we're going to have the same point on the other side. So it would be about there. So it's a one half answer? This one is. That's if you plug in. That's if you plug in one. What, what other options do you have? Like we plugged in two the first time and didn't get a fraction in our answer. Okay. Any other questions on this one? See that, Brett? You don't always have to plug in the half or the one fourth. It's not always a fraction. All right, let's do number four. Is this in vertex form or standard form? Vertex, vertex form. You, know, you want to know why? Because there's three. In vertex form, we have h comma k. Remember, H is the one inside the parentheses. Think of it, it's inside the house, H house, and K is the one outside. So what is our H? But when it's inside the parentheses, we have to change the sign. So it becomes positive too. So remember the H, you're flipping the sign. And what's our K? Four. Four. So what is our vertex? 2 comma 4. What's our axis of symmetry? X equals 2. X equals 2. So we're going to go to the right 2 and up 4. And then we're going to put a line right through our point. How do we find more points on our graph? Plug in numbers. Plug in numbers. What can we plug in? 1. One. So when we plug in 1 for x, we have y is equal to negative 2 times 1 minus 2 squared plus 4. What is 1 minus 2? Negative 1 squared plus 4. And then what is negative 1 squared? Positive 1. And what's positive 1 times negative 2? Negative 2 plus 4. So what's negative 2 plus 4? Two. 2. So when we plug in 1, we get 2. So our first point is going to be 1, comma 2. So we're going to go to the right 1 and up 2. Do we have another point we can plug in? Yeah. Or we can put? Yeah. Where? 
on the other side. So since we're one space away on the left, we need to be one space away on the right. And then we can graph our parabola. Do we have a max or min here? A max. A max. And our max is what? Four. Four. What's our domain? All real numbers. And our range is negative infinity, comma, four. Perfect. Any questions on this one? Let's go to the next one. Number five. This one we can do in vertex form or standard form. You want to do it in standard? Yeah. Okay. So we need an A, B, and C. So what's our A? Negative one. Negative one. What's our B? Zero. Zero. And what's our C? Three. Three. How do we find our axis of symmetry? Negative B over 2A. So we have 0 over 2 times negative 1. And what do we get? 0. zero. Remember, when 0 is on top, the answer is 0. So what's our axis of symmetry? 0. X is equal to 0. How do we find our vertex? Plug it, Plug it in. So we need Y is equal to negative 0 squared plus 3. So y is equal to 0 plus 3? Three. 3. So what's our vertex? 0, 3. zero comma 3. So we stay on 0 and go up 3. And our axis of symmetry is going to go right through it. How do we find more points? Plug in numbers. Plug in numbers. What can we plug in? 1. One. Remember, we don't always have to plug in 1, but it's best to stay close to the axis of symmetry. So since our axis of symmetry is 0, 1 is a good number to plug in. But if our axis of symmetry was like 6, it would be best to plug in like 5 or 7. So numbers close to the axis of symmetry. So we have y is equal to negative 1 squared plus 3. So Remember, we do 1 squared, and then the negative stays on the outside. So we get negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. two. So our first point is going to be 1, comma 2. So we're going to go to the right 1 and up 2. Where is our next point going to be? Outside. On the other side. And our parabola is going to look like that. And we have a max of 3. Perfect. Our domain is all real numbers. And our range is negative infinity to 3. Negative infinity to 3. Awesome. What was that? So for, for the points we plugged in? Yeah. So since our point was 1, 2, I went to the right one. So this was our zero, zero. I went to the right one and then up two. All right, last question, guys. All right. Brett, is this in standard form or vertex form? Vertex form. So we're going to have an H comma K in our vertex. What's our H? Negative 1. And what's our K? Negative 3. Negative 3. How did you get the negative 1? You have to flip the sign for the H. So since it's plus 1 on the inside, we change it to negative 1. So you have to change the sign for the H. Negative 1. So what's our vertex? Negative 1 over 3. Negative 1, comma, negative 3. Boop. Negative. So the positive 1, just flip it over, whatever. Yeah. Axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. Axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. The minimum is the same as the vertex. The minimum is always the same as the vertex, right? The 
it the min or the max? It's always the same. It's always going to be the same as the second number in our vertex. So the max or min is just going to be one number, and it's going to be our y value here. The max and min? The max or min. It's is one number? Uh-huh. And it'll be our y value. So let's graph our vertex. Left one, down three. So it's just like negative three in that problem? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But we need to figure out if it's a max or a min. So we need two more points on our graph. We can do one. We can do one. Yeah, we can do one. What's a better one to plug in? Zero. zero. Just because it's one space away, so that's why we're going to plug in zero. So we plug in zero for x. We have y is equal to four times zero plus one squared minus three. So what's zero plus one? One. one. And what's one squared? One. one. And what's one times four? four? Four. So we have four minus three and it equals one. So when we plug in zero, we get one. So our first point is going to be zero comma one. So we're going to stay on zero and go up one. Where's our next point going to be? On the other side. And now we can graph. And we have a min. Brett, what's our minimum value? It's negative three. Negative three. What's our domain? All real numbers. All real numbers. Xfinity negative. Or no, negative three. Uh, and then Xfinity. Negative three. Xfinity. Two. Infinity. Infinity. There's going to be four questions on the quiz.